Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Magic Kingdom. It is officially October, my favorite month to come visit the parks. And I hear that Disney started selling pumpkin spice Dole Whip. And that sounds amazing. I had to come out and try it. And also I want to see if I can get a last minute lunch reservation at the plaza because that has been on my list of places I haven't eaten at in a while. So we're going to ride some rides, eat some food, just have a beautiful Magic Kingdom kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. It is a beautiful day today at the Magic Kingdom. The temperature's in the 80s, and if you guys didn't know, I just got back from New York City, and the temperature there was in the 50s. And while I was there, I got to make a lot of cool uh, New York City videos, getting to explore all the touristy things. And I found this really awesome Disney Easter egg that I want to tell you guys, because it's pretty amazing. When I was in New York City, I was exploring all of the touristy things, going to the Statue of Liberty in Times Square, and I found this awesome Disney Easter egg, and it has to do with the Plaza Hotel near Central Park. Uh, inside there, they have an uh, oak room, and there is a painting of a castle, and Walt Disney was there visiting when he was brainstorming the idea of Walt Disney World, and he looked at that painting, and he said, I want a castle like that. So in New York City is the inspiration of Cinderella Castle here at the Magic Kingdom and I went there I went to the Plaza Hotel and I asked to go in the Oak Room and they said it hasn't been open in 10 years so I wasn't able to show you guys and I figured why not come here today and go eat at the Plaza restaurant that they have here I figured it would be worth a shot one day the Oak Room's going to open back up and I'm going to be able to see what Walt was talking about when he said I want a castle like that. Let me know if you guys ever heard about this story. I think it's so amazing and I'm not too sure if it's confirmed or not but it's really cool to think that it was. Also, like I said in the beginning, I saw pictures of a pumpkin spice like sweet potato dough whip going around the internet and I was like, I gotta try that. Not too sure if they have it here or if they have it over at the Poly, but if they have it over the Poly, we'll actually go over there because it's like, I have to, I need to know, I've never had a pumpkin spice dough whip before. I was lucky enough to join the walk-up list here at the Plaza Restaurant. Now, it's not like the Plaza Hotel, but it is pretty fancy and I love it here. Also, I love how it's decorated for fall right now. Isn't it beautiful? It says the estimated wait time is 55 minutes, so I think we'll have time enough to go ride a ride and then come back. And how cool is it that we couldn't get into the Oak Room at the Plaza Hotel, but we were able to get into the Plaza Restaurant here. And also, I love the Plaza Hotel. It was beautiful there, and it reminded me of Home Alone too, because that's where he stayed. It was really cool. I wish I was able to show you guys, because I loved it. I also just realized that tonight is a Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party. So the park closes at six o'clock, but we got plenty of time. I came quite early today. And in other news, I actually found out today that Disney is raising their prices on a couple of their services and also on their food. And uh, it's not the greatest news to share with you. I hear that uh, Genie Plus is going up to $22 a day. Now, it's not every single day. I think it, it varies by season, like on a peak season. On a peak day, it'll be $22. Normally, it's always been just $15. But uh, as the busier days come, the price is going to go up up and same thing that goes with the individual lightning lanes and they're increasing some food and beverage items I mean nobody's happy about that at all I, I don't think anyone's out there like yeah go Disney but man <laughs> I mean it gets tough a lot I mean when it comes to like me coming to the parks I really don't buy Genie Plus that much or the individual lightning lanes but for vacations and families I know that's gonna be rough and the same thing that goes for the food food's really expensive as it is but uh, we'll take things as they come and make the best out of it. That's the, that's the best way to do it. <laughs> I decided to make my way over to Frontierland. I kind of really want to ride Splash Mountain, but I'm afraid the wait time might be a little bit too high. We'll have to see once we get over there. If not, maybe we'll uh, double back over to uh, Liberty Square. But wait, I just had the best idea yet. Let's go to Tom Sawyer Island. I haven't been over there in forever. Honestly, I can't even tell you how long it's been since I've been on Tom Sawyer Island. So we're definitely doing it. And here's a little map of the island itself. Wow, I'm so excited that we're doing this today. It's such a big, unlike touched gem over here. A lot of people don't even know that you can go there. Holy ants, look at this. Look at all these ants. 
The ants are taking over the sign. The ants are taking over Tom Sawyer Island. To get to the island, you actually have to take a raft over. That's the only way. I mean, it's an island. You gotta take a raft over and a raft back. There's the island right there. And then, of course, you have the Liberty Bell actually going round and round. Oh, look. Hi, friends. <laughs> I love that. Very cool. Well, here is our little river raft. Oh, here we go. I wonder if Aunt Polly's Refreshments is open too. I, I haven't seen that restaurant open in a long time. Oh, I think we're heading over to Tom's Landing. I'm so excited to explore around the island a little bit. Hopefully they don't call our reservation while I'm over here because it does take a minute or two to get back and forth. And also it has an amazing view of the Haunted Mansion. I can't wait to show you guys. There's Big Thunder Mountain right there. I think we found our docking spot. Yep, we're coming in hot. Hi! <laughs> All right, everyone's got to jump from here over there to get off. And then everyone that's got to get on has to jump from here on. <laughs> and we've made it over to the island. There's a lot of cool things over here like caves, there's sports and bridges. And it's really, it's actually really interesting to just to kind of discover everything. I do have to say, if you are claustrophobic, do not go in the caves. It can get a little bit scary, and uh, I'll show you guys later on. Right now, I think we're going to cross the bridge and head over to Fort Longhorn, because it's a really fun area over here. And then they have the Indian Territory. It's actually a lot. <laughs> Look at this view right here. You have Big Thunder Mountain, and on the other side, you have the Haunted Mansion. And this is the view I was talking about with Haunted Mansion. It's so nice seeing it from this angle. And it's just, it's, it's really cool exploration time. The bridge isn't too bad either, but there is a bridge over here. It's not a bridge. It's kind of like a walkway that's very sketchy. Honestly, this was such a great idea. I am so excited to be here right now. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> Also, if you're ever just feeling overwhelmed by the crowds at Magic Kingdom, this is a perfect spot to get away. Look at this. It feels so amazing to be back here right now. Like, especially in October where the weather's like super cold. I mean, it's not too cold, but it's that perfect fall weather. And we're just walking through the woods, heading into Fort Longhorn. Look at, there's hardly anyone back here. We're in Magic Kingdom. We are right now in Magic Kingdom. There's the escape tunnel. Wow, this is so beautiful. I'm really happy to be here. There's a couple of animatronics over here, the escape tunnel, and you can go up high. It's really cool. They even have a rifle roost, a rifle roost. That's where you would actually poach up spot with your rifle, and that's crazy. We got a bunch of horses and chickens. Look at this. Oh, don't get the horses all riled up. They also have a jail over here and restrooms in case you guys are worried about that. Because I'm sure a lot of people were thinking I don't want to go over there because there's no restrooms. But they do have restrooms and Aunt Polly's is one of the places where you can usually get snacks. But I think it's closed. Let's see where the escape tunnel takes us. Watch your step. We're going all the way down. Oh boy. It's very, very, very tight in here. Oh, oh I keep actually hitting the walls because I can't see too well. It's probably brighter on the camera than it is in real life. Hello. Hello. Oh, excuse us. Oh, sorry. The people we meet in the tunnels. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, I see. There's a light at the end of the tunnel here. Oh, I'm getting stuck. We gotta get our way there. 
He's using a flashlight. No cheating. <laughs> Go ahead, you're good. <laughs> Did I scare you? <laughs> Woo. There it is. We found it. We escaped. We escaped Fort Longhorn. Wow. How cool was that? That's not even the only tunnel they have on this island either. There's another tunnel over on that section and I think we're gonna head back over that way now. Honestly though, look at that view. Isn't it beautiful? Cinderella Castle, a little bit of everything. And we're making our way to some more tunnels and bridges and things we love on the island. Now we're gonna cross the barrel bridge and this is a little bit rocky. <laughs> it's a little bit difficult. Watch your stuff. Make sure you don't have your cell phone loose in your pocket because you will drop stuff on here. And you walk up. Whoop. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> For scientific purposes, I'm going to set my camera down on the safe zone and show you what it's like walking across that barrel bridge. Right here is Aunt Polly's. This is where the quick service restaurant would be, but they do have like vending machines, like sodas and stuff. I wonder how much it cost over here. Look at this, $5. So it's just as expensive as uh, inside a gift shop. They do have a beautiful area where you can sit down and kind of just relax in rocking chairs. Very peaceful over on this side. And of course, you've got the picket fence. Well, you got the fence that's half uh, painted white. Uh, you guys remember Jonathan Taylor Thomas uh, movie? Do you remember that one? That was a cool one. Tom loves Becky and Huck. That's really awesome. Now, I think we're going to actually head back over. I think we're going to get our call for our reservation at any time. Now this was just a brief look at Tom Sawyer Island. There's still lots more to explore, so if you get the chance, Hop over for a visit, you might like it. Wow, this is cool. I've never seen the Festival of Fantasy Parade as I'm taking the river uh, raft back on over from Tom Sawyer Island and the dragon's spitting fire. Look at that. Look at that, just in time. We just got our notification. Our table is ready. Bada bing, bada boom. I cut through Adventureland to see if we would have to head over to the Poly to get the pumpkin spice Dole Whip, and I think that's what we gotta do. So after the plaza, then the Poly. From the plaza to the Poly. That sounds fancy. And there we go, we have made it back to the Plaza Restaurant. I know the Plaza Hotel and the Plaza Restaurant really have no connection, but they share the same name, and that's all that matters, I guess. Here is a quick look at the menu. They have a lot of awesome items. They have the Main Street Burger, which I've had before and it's so, so good. Also the Homestyle Meatloaf, I've had that before as well. And I think this time I might go with the fried chicken sandwich. Sounds good, I've never had it before. It comes on a focaccia bun and uh, I'm all about it. They also have some good desserts too, but I don't think I'm gonna get any desserts since we're gonna go get pumpkin spice Dole Whip, but I am gonna get the soup of the day. Gotta get that, I'm all about it. This restaurant is a very tiny restaurant. It's uh, very compact and it's cool because they used to have the citizens. They used to come in, used to have like the mayor walking around and the fire chief and I miss that. I wish they would bring that back. Here is a look at the restaurant. Like I said, it's very tiny. They probably only sit 100 people, maybe even less. And uh, it's nice, it's like elegant. I like the light fixtures. I pay attention to the detail inside a restaurant and this one, it's very nice. Like I like the, the lights, they honestly look like seashells. Like, like they're cupped like this. Actually, they look like the ride vehicles of the Little Mermaid. I just found out they have a special of the day and it's a pot roast special. So it's pot roast with broccolini and uh, the soup of the day is a tomato pepper soup. I didn't want that so I decided again the good old chili and it's plant based chili too. First things first they brought out the chili and because it's plant based it doesn't come with sour cream it comes with cashew cream. I've never heard of cashew cream and then also they give you lime with it 
and I appreciate that it's kind of like a hidden Mickey. I feel like it kind of gets bonus points just because of that on its own. I have never had cashew cream before. I don't like sour cream, so I'm afraid to try it. I'm like smelling it, I'm like, I don't know, but I'm gonna try the chili first. And it's actually like very watery chili. I noticed that too. It's not like uh, like a, a thick chili, but here we go, chili, chili up. It's good. I like it, it's hot, look at that. Hot chili. Much too hot. Oh. oh yeah, that chili's hot. It'll wake you right up. I'm really interested in this cashew cream. I keep looking at it like, should I try it? I think I should do it. I think I should try it. I don't know. I think I might be nervous, but I'm going for it. Let it cool off for a second though. <laughs> By the time I get to eat it, the cashew cream's probably gonna melt, but all right, here we go. No, I don't like it. I don't like sour cream though. It doesn't taste like sour cream either. Because like, I've had sour cream and I don't like it. It's kind of weird. And here is the pot roast. It normally comes with mashed potatoes, but I asked for french fries on the side. And uh, yeah, it looks good. The broccolini looks good. And I'm excited. I asked for some extra gravy though, because it doesn't look like there's a lot of gravy on there. And plus, who doesn't love gravy with their french fries? You know what I mean? You can have a little gravy fries with my pot roast. Let's dive into this broccolini first though. Look at this, I love broccolini. And this looks like it's well seasoned. <laughs> Probably should have cut that broccoli in half, but oh well. And it is, it's very well seasoned. And here's the gravy they brought out to me. Add a little bit on there, add some to the fries. You know, over everything, except for the broccoli. Broccoli and gravy don't mix well together. Now, let's dive into the good stuff. The, the good old pot roast here. Nice and tender, fall apart. That's the way I like it, look at that. Very stringy, very good. We're gonna dive in. That's good pot roast. It is really good pot roast, but I do feel like it's the same pot roast you can get everywhere at Disney. You know what I mean? Like you can get it at probably Liberty uh, Liberty Tavern and you can probably get it at Skipper Canteen. It's I, Maybe it's just the brand that they use maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I mean it's good though. I like it. Every time I order pot roast I think I'm gonna get like a bunch of potatoes and carrots inside with the meat. But it's always just the meat. You know what I mean? Like I don't know growing up I always thought pot roast came with veggies in it. Didn't it? Like, or am, I, or am I thinking of like stew or something different? Either way, it was delicious and I ate it all. And also, I had like three Arnold Palmers. They're all amazing here. I love the glasses. Like, I don't know, sometimes drinks just taste different out of different glasses. Might be the flow, you know? All right, the plaza was good. I enjoyed the pot roast a lot, and I'm kind of shocked because everything was only $36. So I feel like that is a great uh, value, that restaurant itself, for a quick stop, a sit-down restaurant. And also, when I said that the pot roast was on the, the like off menu, uh, and they had like special today, it actually says, Tuesday pot roast on the receipt. Today is Tuesday. How awesome is that? It says Tuesday pot roast. And if they keep serving that every day, do they swap it out and put like Wednesday pot roast and Thursday pot roast, Friday pot roast and Saturday pot roast and Sunday? You can see that. I can see that. It's a possibility. Maybe. Totally can see that. I thought that was a little fun. All my office fans out there all know what I was talking about when I was just rambling on like that. But enough of the pot roast business. I think it's time we make our way over to the poly so that we can try some of that sweet pumpkin spice Dole Whip. I'm really, I don't know, maybe I'm gonna love it. Maybe I'm not gonna like it. I don't know if it's pumpkin spice or if it's pumpkin spice sweet potato. We'll find out. Either way, it's a must try. Decided to take the monorail over to the poly and kind of funny because you know It's always a good time when you run into friends on the monorail and look at Look at that Oh, all right, good to see you 
that was funny running into Adam. Make sure you guys check him out, The Daily Woo. He just got back from a trip from Cleveland. We actually both got back. I went to New York City, he went to Cleveland. We both got back last night and decided to come to Magic Kingdom today. How funny is that? We ran into each other when we were walking out and we just walked out together, rode the monorail until we separated. And now I'm at the, uh, I'm at the Poly. This is where the pumpkin spice Dole Whip is and I am so excited. And here it is, the not so scary pumpkin sauce serve. Pumpkin spice flavored sauce serve ice cream and a coconut papaya and caramel drizzle and then also has graham cracker crumbs and white chocolate Mickey shaped on top. This is very, very fancy. I mean, I'm excited. Oh, oh, it looks so precious. Yeah. Look at that. I love it, thank you. You too. This is absolutely amazing. I don't know why I thought sweet potato, but there's no sweet potato involved in this. It's all just pumpkin spice soft serve, graham crackers, caramel, and a little bit of the vanilla soft serve, I think, in the bottom there. And it comes with a little Mickey pumpkin. And uh, I'm ready to dive in. Can't let it wait too long, because then it'll start to melt. You know how uh, Dole Whips fare in this uh, hot Florida weather. I'm pretty sure almost everyone takes that first bite right off the top like this without the spoon. It's good. I like it a lot. Holy moly. I like the soft serve on, on its own. Now, they do serve something like this down at Disney Springs, but I think the combination here is a little bit better. I mean, the presentation is a little bit better, and we got to try to get a little bit of everything in one bite. A little bit of the caramel, some of the graham cram, graham cracker, graham cracker, graham cracker crumbs, graham cracker crumbs, <laughs> graham cracker crumbs. You got to get a little bit all in one bite. Here we go. Oh yeah, that's the way. It's definitely a pumpkin spice flavor. Spice, not like a pumpkin flavor. It's very good though. And very good. <laughs> it's definitely worth a try, I tell you that. I would get it again. Oh, I gotta be careful. Look, it's already melting. And I'm losing my Mickey. Gotta eat the Mickey. There we go. Ears first. Ooh. If you're always looking for like unique Dole Whip flavors, I mean, Dole Whip is like the, the name of everything. They're the company that makes everything. You can get Dole Whip at Dutch Wonderland. I've had Dole Whip at the parks. Uh, but let me know what your favorite Dole Whip flavor is. Like, you know what I mean? I've had some really good ones in the day. I like the Key Lime. Uh, I wouldn't say this is my favorite favorite, but I mean, it's unique enough, but not in my top three. That was definitely worth the trip over, like I said. And now it's time to head home. See Miss Gracie girl. I missed her a lot from the New York City trip and she was so excited to see me. She lost it. And uh, yeah, I'll bring you guys so you can say hi to her. Is there a pretty princess in here? There she is. There she is. Hi, baby. What? What are you doing? You wanna go for a walk? Huh? You wanna go for a walkie-poo? Before I go for a walk, I'll give you a cookie. You want a cookie? Huh? Yes, you want a cookie. Yes, you do. Look at you. Huh? Cookie? You ready? Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? You crazy dog, you? Oh, yes. That's a good cookie, huh? All right, we went for a little walk, and now I want to show you guys something really cool that somebody made me and sent me, and I love it. Eeyore's Gloomy Place Inn. Isn't that so cool? Somebody made this for me, and it's just like the sign that I saw uh, at Winnie the Pooh that I said I would love to have that at my house. So thank you, Eric. And it's funny because on the note, he, uh, he wrote on the, on the note, I hope you enjoy the art because I enjoyed making it, Eric. And that is so cool, so thank you so much. I think it is, I, I, I have to figure out where I'm gonna hang it actually. And with that, we are done here. What a fun day, a nice return back to Florida. We got a lot more adventures to come and a couple more traveling things happening in the month of October, in the month of November, and in the month of December. We're gonna finish up the year 2022 strong and having fun and enjoying life to the fullest that's the way to put it that's the way i want to put it out there i just want to make great videos have fun record them for you guys so that you can enjoy them and like i said just live life so 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it, and we'll see you next time. Bye!